we have now measured our pieces and it's time to clean the copper and the valve in order to prep it for the sweat solder. And the absolute most critical component of making a successful solder joint is the cleanliness of the fittings before they get sweat soldered. If there's any corrosion on any piece, the flux and the solder will not adhere to it and will have problems. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this three-quarter inch wire brush and I am going to clean the inside of this gate valve. And so I got to make sure it is sparkling clear. I want to be able to see a mirror off of it at all possible. So one trick is on these older brushes that are starting to wear out, you'll see that the, the grain of the brush is this way. And it makes it easy for you to you know, get knock some of that old debris and rust off. It makes it easy for it to go in, but the problem is the bristles have started to wear out. So now if I go back the other way against the grain, I'm starting to force those bristles to kind of rub tightly against the inner wall of this gate valve. And so you got to go until it hurts. You really do. You really want this shiny clear. Now the good news is this gate valve is new, so it's not going to require a whole lot of effort to get it sparkling. And you can see the reflection in there. And that's nice. Now a small trick that I do, and this is only what I do, other folks don't have to do it, but I really like to rough, rough the very end up. And I'll show you why in just a second. It's not necessary. Some folks do and some folks don't. It's all personal preference. But when I'm doing these, yeah, it takes me just a touch longer, but when it sweat solders, I'm going to get a, a seal around there, and it just looks cleaner. And uh, for no other reason than I know I've got a nice, clean, sealed uh, connection at the end of the day. And so that looks pretty good. Nice and shiny. I'm going to set that off to the side. Now, doing the pipes, there are two different means of doing this. The most common way is to take a roll of sandpaper and just work your way around the edge. Now, in the last episode, you saw that we know that there's three quarters of an inch that that copper is going to fit into the fitting and into that gate valve. And so we could either take it down to an inch or slightly past three quarter. I usually like to go about an inch. I want to go a little bit beyond the actual end of that fitting. And there's a few reasons for that. Just kind of like the edge there that I did. I want this nice and shiny. That's getting pretty good. That looks pretty shiny right there. I don't want to see any corroded spots anywhere else. And then the same is true at the end. If I, if I can, I'll try to just rough that up, get it cleaned up, and that's a, that's a fairly good joint. There's a few low spots. That's one way of doing it. Another way is to take just a uh, one of these wire pads that you have. And then the third means is if we look down into here, this is a three-quarter inch uh, outside wall cleaner. And so I've just placed that in, and then, then I twist a few turns. It makes it easier, but the problem is once this stupid thing wears out, it takes a little bit longer to really get that copper to shine through. So there's, it just takes a while. But you can see it actually gives a little bit better of a finish, but you can see there's a little bit of a spot that it just didn't quite get. So you have to look and make sure that the complete 360 degrees of that outer wall is clean. Got to be clean. All right, so that looks pretty good, but notice I'm not really out at that three-quarter inch mark, so I'm going to go back and just use this. I, I really like to go beyond just to make sure it's ready to go, and this boring lecture goes on and on. So that looks pretty good. We're ready to go with those two pieces. And then the same will be true that we do with this. So if I'm going to do, say, this side, I rough it up, and I'm going to want to rough both up. Now for this demonstration, I'm only going to sweat solder this side. If I were going to sweat solder this in my final install, I would clean both of them and install both of them. And the reason for that is it's going to take me twice the amount of time to go back later, re-clean this after I sweat solder it. So I want to be done once. So let's just clean this up. And that looks fairly clean. 
Then I will take this and I'll just rough edge that outer. Again, I'll show you why that's going to work in just one second. And now we're ready to go. So I do a rough fit before I go any further. So rough fit, that fits in pretty good. That looks good. That looks good. There's enough overlap there to sweat solder and everything here looks good. So just a quick overview. I clean this up, look at the difference here, how shiny that is. That's brightly polished. This is brightly polished, brightly polished. They're in. I do my final rough in measurements. I grab my tape measure to make sure that everything is still what I want it to be, which we were saying was six inches, and it is. So it's right on six inches. Everything is fine. I always want to measure, 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 measure. Because once I sweat solder, it's a pain to undo it. So this is a one and done function. And that ends this section of getting it prepped and ready to go.